Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my truck cab camper. We are back out in Grand Lake Stream, and today is the day that we do something that I've meant to do on this channel for a long time. I don't know why, but for however many years I've done this channel, somehow I've never done a landlocked salmon catch and cook. Today, that is gonna change. I am going to get rigged up. I'm actually gonna do all my rod rigging in the pickup with it running, just so I can warm up. Yeah, it's just so cold out right now that I just feel like getting everything rigged up in here. There, got the new leader on there, ready to go. All we need is to put on a fly. Ooh, getting toasty in here. I am enjoying some puddle coffee that I got from a basically a swamp over there. I do have a water filter that I trust a lot or else I wouldn't be doing this, but it just doesn't taste the best. There was mosquito larvae swimming around in there and frogs and all kinds of stuff. Coffee kind of covers the flavor. So anyway, it's kind of a dark day out there. So we're gonna go with this olive retriever. I'm a big fan of these. This one has a tungsten stone on the front. It's gonna really help it sink down. I like to use a different color underbody because I think that's one of the reasons that this fly truly works well. So in this one in particular, I have a black body and in my mind, it's just adding this different dimension to the fly itself. You see the shine of the Estaz and then underneath you see this black underbody that becomes far more prominent when this is actually in the water itself. That's what we're gonna be starting with today. I guess the only one here, <laughs> per usual. Uh, with this particular flow, I couldn't tell you how high the water is itself, uh, but I can just, I've been here enough to know that on this flow, I like to be on this bank because I can swing my spay rod in towards the dam pool versus on the other side, it swings downstream. Here's the plan for this morning. Got what we're using, what we're doing, and that doesn't mean it's gonna work. So. <laughs> So I just hooked into this fish. Unfortunately, it happened so fast that I actually forgot to start my GoPro. So I guess it's this guy's lucky day. I'm actually gonna let this one go uh, just because I only plan to really catch one on film and then go cook it. Oh man, I kind of just have this feeling that I'm gonna regret this. Probably gonna be the only one we catch today and the curse will continue, but off he goes, I guess. What I can do is show you how translucent this golden retriever or olive retriever gets when it's wet. And now we can see that black thread underbody kind of adding a different dimension to it. I really do think it's one of the reasons this fly works so well. moved on to this particular run. It's a nice run. I didn't see anyone there, so I figured, hey, I can just go start at the top, cast my spay rod, and uh, see if we can't get any fish out of here, and I'll just keep walking my way down, swinging a foot at a time. Fish, yes. Man, I was getting worried. <laughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think we were gonna actually get one down here, but wasn't happening at the dam pool, so kinda had to move on. Right, so now if we can just get this fish in, we are gonna have ourselves our first landlocked salmon catch and cook. 
Looks like a perfect eating size to me. Well, if we ever were to keep a fish, this is the one. It's got a little bit of gill damage there. This is a stocked fish. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Might as well eat them. All right, well there, that feels pretty good. So of course, since we're doing a catch and cook, it's nice to just get that one fish. We're gonna take that fish and go prepare an awesome meal with it. Of course, it's not gonna go to waste and it is a great eating size. It's just big enough for two. There's a big pile of rocks there. I kind of caught them just behind that on the swing. So cool to see. Um, definitely gonna finish up this run and then uh, we'll go cook a cool meal. So I will see you guys in a little bit. brought and cleaned out that landlocked salmon so we're gonna do the very first landlocked salmon catch and cook on this channel salmon has very good natural flavors in my opinion so I usually don't do too much to it I just add a little bit of spice and then throw it in the oven with some tin foil and allow it to cook in its own juices At age 81, this statesman and scientist was helping frame the US Constitution Might have to do a montage on this one or some sort of <laughs> overlay on the sound because Marin's just over here watching some Jeopardy. <laughs> so. today's catch and cook turned out great it's um this is just a really simple recipe there's really i never follow one i just kind of look at what i have at home and go from there and there's just so many variations that you can use to make this and all of them really turn out great especially for salmon brook trout you know when you come home from fishing you don't necessarily feel like doing too much well the prep time for this probably takes maybe 10 minutes or so now if you want to see more catch and cooks like this and just other adventures in the truck cab camper. Make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button. And if you like the today's video and you wanna see more in Catch and Cooks, let me know by going down and hitting that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next adventure. So have a good night.